So we got about 14 minutes now before the hour. I want to take to another major court case getting underway here in New York City. Jury selection begins for the crypto kid, Sam Bankman Freed, facing seven counts of fraud and conspiracy. Uh, it's the first step in a trial set to last a couple of weeks. Uh, the chairman of O'Leary Ventures and former FDX spokesman Kevin O'Leary is with us now. Good to have you on. A lot of people were taken by this guy, and nice to see you today. What, what you worked for? You, you worked for FDX for about a year's time. Uh, did you believe what he was selling? You know, I looked at FTX like I do every venture investment since the 1950s, and those of us invest in nascent startups, because that's all that FTX was, a big one, but a startup, had a fantastic cap table, SoftBank, Sequoia, and on down, Bain Capital Diligence. But you know, eight out of 10 of these things fail for various reasons. Now, I hate losing 18 million bucks, just like everybody else does, but it really doesn't change the way I look at venture investing. That was a loser, and hopefully, the two, you know, the 20% that I do invest in out of 10, two out of 10 work, they pay for all the mistakes, and FTX was a big mistake. What about, Kevin, all the celebs who got uh, wrapped up in buying what he was selling? I mean, Tom Brady, Steph Curry, these are not stupid people. No, and I'm in that basket of them. Uh, we've all been litigated, obviously. That's an ongoing situation. Uh, remember, th when this company burst on the scene, it was the promise of having a U.S.-based, regulated crypto exchange, a nascent industry that has so much promise, and by the way, still does today. It's just that it never got there. And so you think about Sam Bankman fried There were two behemoths that owned 97 percent of the trading of crypto. It was Binance and it was FTX. They ruled the world. And this one looked like, in the case of FTX, it was going to be the American exchange. The parents were compliance lawyers out of Stanford. So there's a lot of promise on the institutional level. And indeed, a lot of institutional capital backed it. Now, that did not work out. And you look a year later at the disarray in the crypto world. And I guess most of us as investors are saying, OK, crypto's not going away. What's next? Because if it's not going to be Binance, and that's for sure it won't be, that's, that one's on its way to zero, too. FTX is already zero. Who's going to emerge as the leader? It doesn't look like Coinbase. Gary Gensler is suing them for the fourth time. No FTX uh, uh, there either. So I think it's going to emerge in a foreign country, which is a shame for the U.S. This innovation is probably going to end up in Abu Dhabi, the rumor of a new exchange backed by billions there called M2 looks very promising, totally compliant, transparent ownership. What a shame that we didn't get there first. That's the way I look at yeah. it. A lot of people just said that they look at crypto now and they think it's, it's good in theory and it's good for some people who would like the financial system across the world to work. But when you're encountering dozens of different countries who have their own individual laws, it's a really hard thing to make happen. Back to the trial here. Here the star witness now, right? You got Sam Bankman Freed. Star witness is Caroline Ellison. Why is she considered to be the star witness? Caroline ran Alameda, and this is a classic story. It does not really engage the complexity of crypto at all. This is a garden variety fraud charge with a classic he said, she said. Now, everybody knows about the romance between them, but she basically was running the hedge fund Alameda, and the allegation is that these funds were misappropriated between FTX platform Alameda and perhaps Sam Bankman fried We don't know. So this won't be that complicated. We'll find out from her what she says. And by the way, she's turned government witness, so that's always problematic if you're the prosecutor, because if all you bring are witnesses that have turned for the state, Where's their credibility? So this is going to be a really interesting trial. But it's really what she said and what he said, and what does the paper show? That's what I want to know. Show me the money. Show me the audit trail. Because that's the great thing about blockchain. You can't hide it. It's there somewhere. I want to know where it went. And then we'll find out what really happened here. Got it. All right, Kevin, we got to leave it there. Thanks well for taking time with us. Nice to see you, Kevin. Talk again very soon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.